Hi, this video is here to help you with comparing and ordering fractions by finding a common denominator. Let's take a look at this in a bit more detail. To be able to compare and order fractions, it will be helpful to use your knowledge of equivalent fractions. To recap equivalent fractions, you can check out our equivalent fractions video on the Twinkle website. Here we have a pair of fractions, 2 thirds and 7 ninths. When comparing a pair of fractions, we can ask the question, is one denominator a multiple of the other? We can see that 9 is a multiple of 3, so the answer is yes. 9 will be our common denominator. I know that 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9, so I must apply the same rule to the numerator. 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. So 2 thirds is equivalent to 6 ninths. Both fractions now have a common denominator. To compare them, I can now look at the numerator. 6 is less than 7. We can use our inequality symbols to show which is less than. As a reminder, this symbol means less than and this symbol means greater than. And if they are the same, then they are equal. Using our inequality symbol, we would say that 6 ninths is less than 7 ninths. Therefore, 2 thirds is less than 7 ninths. Let's look at another example. Here we have another pair of fractions, 1 third and 3 eighths. Remember, when comparing a pair of fractions, we can ask the question, is one denominator a multiple of the other? In this case, the answer is no, because 8 is not a multiple of 3. So what do we do? Well, all we need to do is find a common multiple of both denominators. We can do that by listing out the multiples of each denominator until we find a common multiple. As you can see, 24 is the first common multiple of both 3 and 8. So we say that 24 is the lowest common denominator. 24 will therefore be our common denominator. 3 multiplied by 8 equals 24. I must apply the same rule to the numerator. 1 multiplied by 8 equals 8. We would say 1 third is equivalent to 8 twenty-fourths. Now let's do the same for 3 eighths. 8 multiplied by 3 equals 24. I must apply the same rule to the numerator. 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. We would say 3 eighths is equivalent to 9 twenty-fourths. Both fractions now have a common denominator, which means that we can use the numerators to order and compare. We would say that 8 twenty-fourths is less than 9 twenty-fourths. So we would use our less than symbol here. Therefore, one third is less than three eighths. Now it's your turn. You need to compare and order the pairs of fractions by using the symbols less than, greater than, or is equal to. Pause the video here and have a go. All finished? Fantastic. Take a look at the answers carefully and make any corrections that you need to. Here are the lowest common denominators for each fraction too. For an extra challenge, you need to order the following fractions in ascending order. Remember, ascending order means to order from smallest to greatest. Pause the video here and have a go. All finished? Well done. Here are the answers. You could have used 36 as a common denominator, like this. So we can now use the numerator to order the fractions in ascending order, like this. 5 eighteenths is the smallest, then it's 2 sixths, followed by 5 twelfths, and finally 23 thirty-sixths is the greatest. I hope you found this video useful. Check out the Twinkle website for lots more helpful maths videos. Hi, this video is here to help you use the numerator to compare and order fractions. 
We can compare and order fractions by finding a common denominator. However, sometimes it's easier to find a common multiple of the numerators and compare fractions this way. Let's take a look at this in a bit more detail. Here we have two fractions with the same numerator, one quarter and one fifth. If we represent them using bar models of the same size, we can see that one quarter is greater than one fifth. Let's look at a different example. Here we have two fractions with the same numerator, three quarters and three sixths. If we represent them using bar models of the same size, we can see that three quarters is greater than three sixths. This leads us to the conclusion that when the numerators are the same, the greater the denominator, the smaller the fraction. This is a really useful fact to know, but what if we need to compare two or more fractions with different numerators? Well, we can use our understanding of equivalent fractions to help. So, if I wanted to compare the fractions 3 fifths and 9 fourteenths using the numerator, I would first need to find a common numerator. 9 is a multiple of 3, so I can use 9 as a common numerator. I need to find the equivalent fraction of 3 fifths, which has 9 as a numerator. I know that 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. I must apply the same rule to the denominator. 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15. Therefore, the equivalent fraction to 3 fifths that has 9 as a numerator would be 9 fifteenths. Now both fractions have the same numerator, we can easily compare them. Remember this rule. To compare two or more fractions with the same numerators, we just need to compare their denominators. The fraction with the smallest denominator is the greatest. Therefore, 9 fifteenths is less than 9 fourteenths. As 9 fifteenths is equivalent to 3 fifths, we can also say that 3 fifths is less than 9 fourteenths. Let's take a look at a question where one numerator is not a multiple of the other numerator. Here we have 5 eighths and 7 ninths. 7 is not a multiple of 5. So we need to find a common multiple of both 5 and 7. We can do this by listing out the multiples of both 5 and 7. By doing this, we can see that 35 is a common multiple of both 5 and 7. I need to find the equivalent fractions of 5 eighths and 7 ninths that have 35 as a numerator. 5 multiplied by 7 equals 35. I must apply the same rule to the denominator. 8 multiplied by 7 equals 56. 5 eighths is equivalent to 35 56 To convert 7 ninths into an equivalent fraction with a numerator of 35, I will multiply 7 by 5 and 9 by 5 to give the fraction 35 40 fifths. Remember the rule again. To compare two or more fractions with the same numerators, we just need to compare their denominators. The fraction with the smallest denominator is the greatest. Therefore, 35 40 fifths is the greatest as it has the smallest denominator. We would say that 5 eighths is less than 7 ninths. We can use the greater than, less than, or is equal to symbols to compare fractions. Have a go at using these symbols to compare these pairs of fractions. Pause the video now and have a go. All done? Fantastic! Take a look at the answers carefully and make corrections to any mistakes that you might have made. <laughs> Time for a challenge. You need to order these fractions in ascending order. Remember, ascending order means to order from smallest to greatest. Pause the video now and have a go. Well done. Here are the answers on the screen now so you can see how you got on. As you can see in question one, all of the numerators are the same, which means we can just compare the denominators. 
The smaller the denominator, the larger the fraction. So in ascending order, the fractions are 5 twentieths, 5 fifteenths, 5 elevenths and 5 eighths. For the second question, the numerators are not the same. A common multiple of 6, 12, 18 and 36 is 36. So we need to find an equivalent fraction with a numerator of 36, like this. Now that they all have the same numerator, we can order them by looking at the denominators. Remember, if the numerators are the same, the smaller the denominator, the greater the fraction. I hope you found this video useful. Check out the Twinkle website for more helpful maths videos.